Presenting our national officials of this match. First referee, Mr. Daniel Balada. Second referee, Mr. Ryan Vincent Corpus. Now here are your starters for the Gallery Sour High Risers. Let's start with jersey number nine, Audrey Paran. Wearing jersey number 13, France Ronquillo. And number 14, Andrea Marzan. Jersey number 16, Oriel Ipak. At 17, Fen Emnas. Jersey number 23, Roma Joy Doromal. Starting libero is number 10, Lisa Eroa. With her head coach, Ms. Lerma Giron. Now let's call in on the starting lineup for the Farm Fresh Foxies. Starting off with our team captain, number seven, Louis Romero. At number five, Eliza Bertolano. Jersey number 10, Chini Arroyo. At number 12, Trisha Tubu. Jersey number 13, April Tagsip. At 16, Riza Cruz. Starting libero is number 17, Janelle Delario. Head coach is Mr. Jerry Yee. This match is under the regulations and supervision of the Games and Amusement Board. And there you have it, your starters for the galleries. Tower High Risers, Roma Doromal, 23, who we also saw in the our pre-game and Fen M. Nas, Julia Ipak, same, same names from the same team. Meanwhile, we go to the Farm Fresh Foxies. We have birthday girl, Kai Tagsip, along with Chini Arroyo, Louis Romero, and Janelle Delero, their libero for today. I know this is a no-bearing game, but I feel nervous for both of the teams. Like, you can feel the tension. No one is smiling as you would usually see for these kinds of games. Well, we know that uh, both these teams share the same win-loss record at 2-6. and six. While they didn't make it to the semis, again, this is all about playing for pride. And if you're going to end a uh, season, you want to end on a high note. Uh, I guess for both uh, these teams, uh, it really matters. You know, you need that momentum, you need that confidence. I mean, both teams, this is the game to show that you've toughened up, you've grown up, and now it's time to put all of those experiences into application and end the season well. And we did mention, though, know, that for both these teams, a lot of them, some actually have come from uh, different clubs prior to this, and they're trying to find their home. A lot of them um, have their stories, and, and so this is really proving their worth. It's all about really showing and showcasing, you know, the talent that they have. I mean, right now, Galleries is one was able to um, score the first point for today's match. But you're right, Anne. You know what they say? Namamahay pa sila. Um, and some teams here in the PVL, they've definitely got that flow, that chemistry, that communication. But these two teams, you know, as Anne have mentioned, you know, they're still finding their place, their role in their family and in their teams, and that's what they're settling into. And with that, we're tied 1-1. as you have Chini Arroyo serving for the Farm Fresh Foxies. Delerio to Bertolano. Emna setting that up for Paran. Romero backs it to Trisha Tubu. And the point for the Farm Fresh Foxies, 2-1. So far, still keeping it simple for their early plays here in the first set. I mean, which is great. Uh, usually you feel the giggle and uh, both teams rushing, but they're being very careful and calculated. Ooh, miss come there. Two point lead for the Farm Fresh Foxies. Arroyo still in the service line, service area rather. 
Good serve. And Nasto Marzan. Quick one, two. Again, keeping it efficient. Nothing too fancy, just getting the job done. And it's good to really maximize as well their uh, center spikers. Romero running to set that for Bertolano. Romero to Trisha Tubu. Great net defense by the Gallery Tower High Risers. Ooh, attack error for Marzan. That was so close. You were enjoying a really good rally from both teams. Birthday girl, Kyle Tagsip. <laughs> and last. Is that an attack error? It seems like it didn't get through. But there will be a challenge. Our first. A block touch. Called by the gallery Tower High Risers. The Far Fresh Foxies right now have a two point lead. Time to uh, huddle. But it's great. Right now, you're not seeing a lot of mistakes yes. committed uh, by both teams. Uh, they're actually both off to a good start. Except for those errors while the, the ball is in play. But at least these are not the you know the usual errors you'd see. Like service errors. Service <laughs> errors, yes. As we look at that uh, slow-mo. Okay, an unsuccessful challenge. Unsuccessful. For the high risers and Coach Lerma. Tagsip still serving for the Farm Fresh Foxies. Five serving two. Ronquillo cross court. Tagsip was there. Romero sets it for Bertolano. Great floor defense by Eroa. Tagsip to Trisha. Too strong. That was uh, clearly going out. But Trisha's not too worried about this one. Again, just the first set. Haven't had her first technical timeout yet. Both teams are actually very calm. Very They're calm, so, stable. so composed. <laughs> the thing is, it's always like more challenging to commentate when both teams, their energy is really, they're very level-headed right now. But a lot of effort in really keeping the ball alive. At least that's what we are seeing with their coverage and defense. And Doromal is being very feisty in the net. And Kilio as well. Great defense there by Tubu. And like I said, Doromal feisty right now. I mean, from the very beginning of the game. Gigil na gigil. Oh, but you know, Arroyo really disappointed because she wasn't in the right position. <laughs> Saya sayang. Romero to Tubu. Single block. As we head on over to Kyla for more stories on our teams for today. Kyla? Thanks, Denise. The Gallery's Tower High Risers, Grace Bombita, is not only playing for herself, she's playing for her biggest fan and biggest inspiration, her dad. In a heartwarming, in a heartwarming interview earlier, Grace revealed how her athleticism and unwavering fighting spirit stem from her father, a fellow athlete who instilled in her a love for the game. Sa pagbalik tanaw ni Grace sa nangyari sa laban nila ng Akari Chargers, nakitaan niya ang team ng mabilis na pagsuko, especially sa mga 
time daw na pukpu ka na, nananalo ang kaba, and the next thing they know is wala na silang pasa. With that said, coming into this game against the Foxes, she told me that she reminded her teammates sa kahalagahan ng pagsisimula ng maganda at pagtatapos ng mas maganda. That way, there would be no regrets on their efforts. Don't regret missing out on volleyball action. Just download the Pilipinas Live app for 149 pesos and watch the games live in HD anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to you, Denise and Anne. Thanks for that, Kyla. I mean, now the higher risers were able to cut down the lead of Farm Fresh to just two a while ago to take more than four, or four at least. But here now, we're slowly easing in. <laughs> to yeah. the unforced error. <laughs> yes, that's uh, the service error from Tubu. But I think even at the pr front line, of course, we expect that the high risers are have marked her already. Of course, they've done their homework, and uh, looks like they are able to read uh, the offense coming from the Foxes. Longquillo cross court attack. Romero to Bertolano. Ball still alive. Romero. Bertolano tries once more. Paran from the back. And this is our longest rally yet. Who will end it? Donquilla tries. <laughs> and she succeeds. That was the perfect angle to send her offense to nobody there down the line. Amazing reception receives by the high towers. I mean, they're able to execute all of their plays. And Nas is able to do all of those because all her teammates are contributing to the receives. She may have gotten the point, but uh, that series with a lot yeah. of those good <laughs> defense. Team effort. Oh. Was that Ipa? And now we head on to our first technical timeout with the gallery. You're watching the PVL, the heart of volleyball, Arena Plus, as Stigs of Sports. It's the Farm Fresh Foxies against the Galleries Tower High Risers. Again, I'm Denise Tinsai with my partner, Anne Mulia Kanda, and our courtside reporter for today's game, Kyla Castillo, covering the matchup between these two. Again, just a quick recap. This is a no-bearing game. Both teams have failed to make it to the semifinals. But as we have said during our pregame, it is a game of pride for both teams to show off what they have learned during this conference. The high risers, one point ahead. Ronquillo. Romero setting that to Bertolano. They're calling for a check ball. And that point will be awarded to the Foxies. They're now tied 8-8, our first tie here in the set. A really strong serve. Too strong of a serve for Liza Bertolano here. 
everything was so steady at the beginning, but uh, like what we've, like what you've mentioned earlier, slowly starting to see it. But one thing I have to commend both teams, the defense that we're seeing today is is really really good. We were seeing good offense, but you know they're able to keep the ball alive. Not that time though. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> too soon, too soon. <laughs> well, there's only set one. But Adam was right. I mean, how we started the game uh, before the first tactical timeout, it was smooth sailing. And now the emotions are uh, slowly creeping in through the cracks. Uh, we're having quicker rallies, less rallies. Um, and the unforced errors are now coming in, not just for the Farm Fresh Foxies, but also for the Tower High Risers. Oh, good serve. Oh, would have been an easy point, but uh, that was too strong. Would have been, could have been, but... The Farm Fresh Foxies are calling for a block touch. Second challenge here. It's at one. The first we've had was unsuccessful. And that was by the gallery's uh, tower high risers. Also a block touch. I'm keen to know if indeed there was, but it seems like it was a clean yeah, it clear was as out day. here. <laughs> So now both teams are tied as well, 1-1, with unsuccessful challenges. Second tie, 10-10. Romero scrambles for that set as Bertolano gives away a free ball. Paran. Romero to Arroyo. Finds a way to make it through the double blocks of the high risers. Let's look at that replay. No, this is showing the power at the net. We're talking about the, the, the high risers, but you really have to find a way, and that's I think, exactly the Foxies did. Quick in game adjustment for Chini Arroyo. And finally, after being marked for so long, uh, Trisha Tubu able to score a point. Tubu now with four points here in this set. One third right now of her team scores. But, uh, you know, the, the trouble that they've been having is getting that ball through at the ser from the service line. And let's see if the high risers will be able to flip the switch and take the lead here in set one. Birthday girl, Taksip. Just the right amount of power, that ball landing in an area with no coverage. Chini Arroyo now serving for the Foxies, 13-11. Ooh, strong attack there from Paran. Ooh. Great defense. Ah, Tubu was already on her way down. So, uh, moment, <laughs> gravity pulling her already. The, the ball didn't clear the net. Still a one-point lead for the Farm Fresh Foxies. The high riser is keeping it close. Kilio blocked by Tubo and Taksip. The birthday girl. And uh, Trisha. That deserves a second look. Or rather, that was Trisha with that clean block. Oh, good serve by the birthday girl. Yeah. 
But still, right now, the gallery is our high risers. Every time the ball is on their court, that's what, you know, what makes the coach happy. You're really maximizing those uh, three touches. Trisha Dubu. No words for that one. That landed so fast. <laughs> That's Mike of the Set, brought to you by Duncan. Pasalubo ng bayan. Just like that, she is with six points, but <laughs> offset with that uh, service error. I think that is her second already for the set. And right now, Legacion and Virai. Come in, seeing action here in set one for the first time in today's game. Outside. <laughs> Great reflexes. <laughs> but a farm fresh fox, he's in that one. Good read. And now we go to our second technical timeout, but this time it's the Farm Fresh Foxies leading two points, 16-14. signal yesterday today and tomorrow switch now and get up to three months with no cash out visit www.signal.tv switch for more details again you're watching first game of this saturday's triple header in the phil sports arena in Pasig city galleries tower high risers against the farm fresh foxies and coming right up after this game at 4 p.m. is a strong group athletics versus the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. And at 6 p.m., you've got the next like Chameleons versus the Creamline Cool Smashers. Another strong serve by Bertolano. Man, great placement by the high risers, really able to identify uh, those spots that are left unguarded. Look at Ipa go for that middle area. Right smack in the middle when no one was there. And a service ace. Coronquillo. I mean, look at that. Right now, everything working so well for the high risers. They're on a 2 0 run. And let's see if this will continue. Make that 3-0 run for the high risers. Now we're tied with our, well, a while ago, that was 16-16. And now the high risers have taken over the lead, 17-16. Farm Fresh Foxies need better passing. Legashon. Doromal. Sean gives it to Virai. Ipak getting another score under her name. That's why a timeout will be called by the Farm Fresh Foxies. Let's listen in. Short ball nga lang yan. Okay, one more. Let's go. 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 Let's
Association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20th only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and Filipinas Live. Hashtag everyone's game, hashtag NBA on signal. The high risers have been very consistent. They are with a four to nothing run. And we've mentioned this before as well. So they've been very steady. And the problems now we are seeing on the side of the Foxies. The high risers have maintained their stability uh, while the farm fresh foxies uh they're rattling the cages uh you can feel the panic um the reception but also the high risers are giving heavier balls here Paran. Dromal gives away a free ball legashon sets it up for virai outside and the mistakes really hurting the farm fresh foxies right now because the high risers are now at a four point lead, 20 serving 16. With France Tronquillo serving. Oh, really? Things just not going right here for the foxies. Another timeout for the Farm Fresh Foxy is uh, let's listen in again to Coach Jerry and the rest of the coaching staff. They get the spike, they block you. Zero. All your mistakes. Now, can do. Okay. I don't know about you, Anne. If I heard that right, but like just the way Master Shimizu said, they broke you. <laughs> you gotta get yourself back together. <laughs> Come on, pick, pick the up pieces the <laughs> up. <laughs> but it, it really is how That's true. it looks like. So coming, from, we, we did say that defense earlier, reception earlier was so good, but now really nothing is just going their way. And the blocking of the high risers, I guess just really staying true. <laughs> to uh, what the... Uh, oh, look at that. But what look at the court movement of the high risers. Uh, they're spaced out, they're moving gracefully uh, compared to the Farm Fresh Foxies. Really, they resemble more like hens being scared off by the fox. I know, they, they, they are very organized, they're very fluid, and you see that there is communication inside, even if they don't talk. And, uh, you know, their presence at the net, I think, is something that's really felt by the Foxies, the Farm Fresh yeah. Foxies. But that was a much-needed point, you know, to stop the bleeding, the brokenness uh, from Caitlin Varai. And let's see if she'll be able to piece all the other broken pieces, as Master Shimizu said it, back up. As they try to d regain their lead here in set one, right now, High Rise are still leading 22-17. The ball given by Arroyo. And man, Ipak is enjoying this play. Well, that one seemed to be sailing out, but there was a net violation, unfortunately. And now Audrey Paran and the rest of the high risers are just two points away from set match, I mean, 23-17. Good serve by Ipak. Nagashon to Virai. That one is out. And Ipak wiping off the sweat from her forehead. I mean, if that hit her, would have been a painful one. They are looking to close this set, so they're trying to play as perfect as they can be, as they can. And as calm as they have been playing. 
Uh, Rai will be giving that away. Paran! Oh! Great <laughs> blocking by Virai and Tagsip. And that's what you need for the Farm Fresh Foxies to also step up their net defense and also maybe after that their floor defense as well. Yes, you know, it, it's such a big help to the back row defense if the blockers are right there on point with such excellent timing. They need to play perfectly from this point on. Paran. Bertolano died for that one. Romero to Tubu. Sakto kay Doromal. Oh, to, was that Ronquillo? Ronquillo. Okay. Six points in this set alone. I mean, 25 18. What a performance uh, by the gallery sour high risers. I mean, sinasa ben nila nila yung mood and energy ng farm fresh foxies, but the way that they were playing, well, that one. He Term that is now, you know, the <laughs> latest thing. But wow, an amazing performance. I mean, it started out quite slow, slow but stable. And suddenly, as if like a switch, I didn't even know who was the catalyst. The emotions started coming up, started being more intense. But the tower high risers did not falter in the way that they played. You know, they were quite consistent in that first set. And I think, you know, the fact that in terms of attitude, they really capitalized on the momentum. That was something that worked to their advantage. And I must say that the defense was spectacular in that first set. I mean, of course, we credit all the points to the attackers, but their floor defense was really, really good. As we look at the set one statistics here, we can see that it is actually even when it comes to offense. 10 points for both teams, but um, even if blocking was in favor of far the Farm Fresh Foxies, where um, uh, the, the high risers had an advantage was on the service area. We did see that, so it was a bit of a challenge for uh, the Farm Fresh Foxies to get a reception, and they did score three aces uh, in that first set. But I think if there's one thing that the Foxies would need to be careful with as they go into the second set, it's really the giveaway points. They, it's double digit 11 um, uh, points. Almost twice. Almost twice, that's right. And majority of them were attack errors and service aces. Uh, those two things that the high risers capitalized on in set one, 
But just to add to what Anne said, it was also the chemistry and mind communication of the higher risers. I mean, for every movement of one player, there was also a corresponding movement from the rest. They were all just reacting to one another. Uh, compared to the Farm Fresh Foxies, na talagang nahihirapan sila magbasa sa isa't isa. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're talking about involvement of each one. And if you, we look at the stats individually, we'll see that a lot of them who are on the floor actually have some score on, on the board. And we have uh, Ronquillo right now with the most number of points, six, followed by Ipac with uh, four, but equally Paran. You have there uh, Marzan, Doromal, also with uh, some contribution. I mean, and it's all thanks to Amnas. And right now, Mabilangan, who is um, their starting center here at set two. But back to the game, we're tied 1 1. An over receive there from the Tower High Risers. But Doromal, uh, it's so amazing how they're able to pick up quickly after a receive. Tubu is, uh, has been marked, of course, well read. Doromal right there. Excellent timing with that block. And still no surprise until now, even for set two, the Shatubu is a marked player for the high risers. Just what they need at this point that falls right at the end line. Kasilag. And it's great that Kasilag is in. I mean, if you've got Trisha Tubu, Mark, you need another strong attacker for Romero to set the ball to. Mabilangan to Ronquillo. And finally, I mean, the Farm Fresh Fox is stepping up their net defense. But a challenge is called by... The farm, Fresh Foxies, another block touch. Our first challenge for set two. And our second deadlock in set two as well. We're tied 2 2. In uh, the earlier set. So an unsuccessful challenge um, again for Coach Jerry and the Farm Fresh Foxies. Romero to Kasilag. Kasilag once more. Abilangan to Ronquillo. Back by Tubo and Cruz. Doromal. Finding ways, finding those gaps that she could penetrate. Oh, but there is a violation called by our uh, second referee. So that point goes to uh, Farm Fresh Foxies. And I think Doromal just clarifying. I think we are clarifying what the call was. The challenge on the call by Gallery. And now, Galleries will be calling a challenge, a net on challenge. As for the high risers, it seemed like it was already a point from that uh, hit by Doromal. But let's see if there was indeed a touch. 
Adorable Stranger Things. Yes. You know, things happen so quickly. Sometimes you probably don't feel it. I ko pala yung net. But uh, opportunity for farm fresh. I mean, there was a net touch, but disadvantageous. To yeah. Pero bawi bawi lang. Ron now we need Ronquillo. Oh, eight points already in this game. She is the highest scorer for uh, the gallery's tower high risers. I mean, for the last game, she scored 11. She is only a couple of points away from hopefully. Ooh, that Ooh. was a good <laughs> save. Oh my goodness. This, this is the defense we're talking about. Crazy. But the Farm Fresh Foxy is uh, scrappy as ever. That always works for them. Uh, they're able to make the plays work for them. If it's something off of those uh, lucky shots, lucky saves. That's lock, 4-4. Four, four. And Eroa doing really well there for uh, their defense. Oh, no touch called. They are asking for a touch. And the high risers uh, called for that challenge unanimously. <laughs> they seem to be very confident that yeah. there was contact with the ball. I mean, the coaches don't look too convinced, but the players are pretty sure, like, in unison, like everyone <laughs> saying, yeah, there was a touch. And they need this to be a successful one, because uh, we haven't even reached our first technical timeout yet. That's why they are confident. <laughs> <laughs> there was a touch. What sharp eyes they have. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> good call, good eagle's eyes on uh, the high risers. 5-4 for the high risers. A really great defense on the floor for Eroa. Paran had a good target, but just very little space to work with right there on the sideline. And the road to our first technical timeout is a long one. Sagutan uh, lang. Jousted the net, and it's Chini Arroyo who wins that. Look at that replay. You've got, I think that's Mabilangan and Chini Arroyo going head to head in the front. Oh, amazing! Without Chini Arroyo, I was not able to see that action. Let's replay that and let's look at this. You know, for those who are rooting for the Foxies, they're probably thinking it's about time. She's been pretty quiet, only on her second point for this match. So hopefully this is uh, going to be consistent from this point on. Romero to Arroyo. One point lead for the Farm Fresh Foxies. Good serve. Romero to Tubu. Amazing. What is happening to the Farm Fresh Foxies right now? They are rejuvenated.
Please, against the gallery Tower High Riser to now go to Kyla Casino for her report on the Farm Fresh Foxies. Kyla? Thanks, Denise. That's right. Earlier, I was able to talk to Trisha when she shared with me how during their training, they really focused on coverage as it was deemed to be their Achilles heel, tripping them up in their recent games. She mentioned that naging maganda naman ang resulta ng training at nakadjust ang team sa gusto ng coaches na walang lalapag na bola. But today, as seen as the, in the first set, the nerves might have creeped in and prevented them from executing what they have been training. Now, coming into the second set, the challenge is can they free their mind from pressure in order to allow them to recover and regain confidence. With a relatively young team like Farm Fresh Foxies and Gallery Tower High Risers going neck and neck, it seems as though today's game would not be all about firepower and skills, but rather mental tenacity and self-belief. This report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos per month. Now back to you, Denise and I. The points just keep on coming for the Farm Fresh Foxies. They've uh, come to life. We did mention earlier how they've been silenced, but you know, this is the kind of attitude that you want to see. To try to recover after a failure, but uh, the high risers also just making sure that they don't let the Foxies get such a big lead. And I mean, from being broken, uh, as Master Shimizu said, I, you know, now, hopefully the Farm Fresh Foxies finish this set well. It's about Kintsugi. You know, with all the cracks that they have, there's suddenly uh, the gold. The golden players are trying to make something new, something even more beautiful than the previous one. And we haven't seen a long rally like this one in some time. But when we talk about consistency for today's match, you know, Doromal is at the top of that list. She has four points in this game. She has been consistent in the fiery way she's been attacking the Farm Fresh Foxies. Oh, miscue there from Arroyo and Romero. The back error from Narit. She knew it. Oh. She knew it. She wasn't in the proper angle for that. Intention was there. Everyone knew what she was going to do. Uh, Sally Ball, not high enough for her height. <laughs> Definitely not going to clear. And whatever the Farm Fresh Foxies are doing right now, this time it's got the Gallery Tower High Risers in a state of confusion uh, with their system. Tubu. Babilangan rushes to set that for Doromal. Romero to Tubu again. Kasilag, blocked by Marzan and Paran. Great timing by the blockers. Marzan, that is her fourth point for this match. It's her nth deadlock for set 2, 10-10. And right now, Galleries has a two block points to one against the Farm Fresh Foxies. Oh, so close. Ronquillo oh. sends it to the back, but that's way out back. Outside. Oh, that was inside, rather. I think we are clarifying this call, but there is a challenge. A block touch called by the Farm Fresh Foxies uh, on that play. 
This is our, I think, third or fourth. Replay. So a successful challenge for the Farm Fresh Foxies. But now the Gallery Stower High Risers is having a challenge of their own. A net fault. Back to back. Uh, wow. Challenge here. And to think this is a no-bearing game. <laughs> but that's how much, of course, uh -huh. both these teams, we did talk about that, how this is really playing for pride. And, uh, you know, each game matters. You want to win, you want to end in high note as we look at that replay. No net touch, but I could be jinxing it. Hopefully not. <laughs> That's correct. No net touch. Unsuccessful challenge for Coach Lerma and the high risers. And after back-to-back -back challenge, we're only in set two. Farm Fresh Foxies leading by 1.11 to 10. Chini Arroyo with a service error. So now the Gallery Stower High Risers, after that unsuccessful challenge, has uh, no more challenges left here in set two. Romero to Kasilag. Ball still sadly not alive. Some challenges with defense on the side of the high risers. That spike by Elaine Kasilag of the set is brought to you by Duncan. Pasalubong ng bayan. Oh, an over received there on Ronquillo. And Romero gets a point of her own. She saw that opening in the middle, making it simple. Galleries will be calling a timeout after the run that the Farm Fresh Foxies have had. Let's listen in to Coach Lerma and her team. Aware ka na center front line, nabasa natin. Yun, yun ang problema. Be at the moment, okay? Be at the moment. Again, nagtaranta na naman kayo dyan. Yung pagiging taranta nyo ba nakakatulong para pumuntos tayo? O eh bakit pinipilit natin maging taranta? Anong, anong ika-counter natin dyan? Then again, yung mga loose balls na nakukuha natin, ilagay lang natin sa gitna. Magkarantahin ng disiplina. Masahan natin ng maayos. Ito ba isa, last. Yung first ball natin, papagali natin. Huwag nyong madaliin. Pag minadali nyo yan, madali tayo matatalo dyan. Let's go! And could you break it down for me? I mean, that's true. What Coach Lerma said, yung wag mataranta. Kanino first set, it was the Farm Fresh Fox, he said. They were the one who was kind of ajit, natataranta, um, not being in the present. They're not slowing down the ball, but suddenly, you know, these things, these mistakes that Farm Fresh Foxies have committed, they transferred to the high risers. And uh, we, we did actually commend the high risers earlier, no? yeah. saying that, wow, they look so fluid. They look like, 
you know, they're a well-oiled machine. But I think, you know, in this set, it, it, we, we also have to give credit to the Farm Fresh Foxies. They are uh, most definitely giving the high risers a better challenge, better offense. We did say in the first set that Tubu seemed to have been silenced. She has been marked, but uh, you know, we, we feel her more here in this set. And I guess to add to that, there have been some challenges on the side of the high risers. It, it could be that, uh, you know, they're a bit more relaxed coming from that win in the earlier set, but the quick recovery is something that we are still looking from coming from them. And now M. Nas is back, uh, and Dimtim Pakres enters the game for the first time. Kasilag. M. Nas Toronquillo. And let's see if this double substitution by Coach Lerma would work well. But right now, fresh off of the bench, Emnas and Pakres roaring to go. 13-13. Meanwhile, Romero still no sub. But it's great that how the Farm Fresh Foxes are playing. It's not so different from how they were playing in set one. It's still that scrappy play, but it is the high risers that have changed their demeanor. Well, let's see how quick they can recover. I think also one 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 uh, thing that improved on the side of the, far, the farm fresh foxies is that they have better passing this time around. So plays are uh, easier to execute. Oh, Pacres! Back with so much power! <laughs> and you could see, you could hear her teammates rejoicing in the sidelines with that attack. Much needed boost. Yes. <laughs> and that's why we say, you know, if you're coming off the bench, there is actually a lot of pressure. We we did mention how, of course, you warm up on the side, pero iba yung init ng mga naglalaro na talaga. And the pressure for you to deliver because you replace someone so that you know, you you can give them a breather and you have to play your best and score some points. Ball still alive. Paran. Silag was there. Romero. Ooh. Amazing hit by Chini Arroyo. Arroyo only scored one point in the first set. That last point is her third point in this set. So she has four points in total for this match. Chini Arroyo making some noise in set two for her squad. And Paran. Down the line. Let's look at this replay. Right in the side. No one was there. And let's see who will take the lead as we head into our second technical timeout. Wow, that falls into the line for EPAC. And there you have it. The Gallery Sour High Risers leading 16 to 15. Second technical timeout here in Step. The 16 to 15, the Gallery Sour High Risers against the Farm Fresh Foxies. And an amazing substitution, double substitution, in fact, by Coach Lerma 
but also amazing effort from Eroa the Libero of the High Risers. I mean, she's been found everywhere in the court, not just in set two, but also set one. We uh, did mention how she is indeed instrumental. She may not be scoring the points, but really they cannot score the points if not for her excellent digs and reception as we look at her stats over there. 14 and 2 respectively. Great numbers from Eliza Eroa. Romero, ooh. Lim Dimpakre straight to Tubu. Kasilag will be giving away a free ball. Tubu setting it up for Chini Arroyo. She gets that done. Not the best sets, but she finds a way. Chini Arroyo really keeping it smart and simple. That's been working so well for her today. <laughs> Too long for Pacres. Too much power on that uh, hit. Too bad. That was such a sharp angle for Dimdim Pacres. Emnas to Pacres again. The same amount of power this time. She made sure there's no question. It is inside. You know, but I like that attitude. Earlier, she committed uh, a mistake. She did ask for the ball again. So before uh, that uh, substitution, she managed to contribute. I mean, in some way, Dimdim Pakres is a veteran. Uh, she's no stranger to those things. I but let's go back to the game. Tisha Tubu with an off angle for her. Too strong. And Mabilangan is back as the setter. Right now she has eight excellent sets. Romero. Oh, amazing back to back attacks. A quick attacks for Chini Arroyo. She's making Arroyo work hard here. But after that back-to-back -back attacks from Chini Arroyo, substitution, PL Defonso, the service area for the Farm Fresh Foxies. Oh, but a violation. No uh, room to relax here for the high risers. They're trying to get back into that same momentum, same pace as they had in the first set. Mabelangan having a short talk, short discussion. The referee. Okay, sadly, we also didn't hear much of it. Um, but right now, El Defonso is serving. Abilangan to paran! Like a comment, I could see the fire from that attack. That cross-court hit by Audrey Paran. They are getting everybody involved. We're talking about the high-risers. Romero to Casilag. That was blocked by Doromal and Marzan. Normal scores of the blocks of the Farm Fresh Foxies. You know, this is what uh, probably Coach Lerma is looking for. No, kumakapit yung team. And it's not giving up despite the fact that uh, initially we felt that it was Farm Fresh Foxies really controlling the second set. Uh, the high risers definitely saying no to that uh, quick lead 
And right now, Block falls farm fresh with five to one of the high risers. From Kilio oh. Sego Block by Trisha Tuba. I mean, you can hear the fans cheering her on that one. And you know, whenever Trisha Tubu gets a block, it, the way it rebounds on the floor, there is so much impact. And you wonder where the impact is coming from. <laughs> she is a petite person. Oh, good passing, a good set. Also a well-placed shot there for Marzan. And I'm pretty sure Marzan's happy about that point because she's been itching to get another point in the scoreboard. Another chat between Mabilangan and the referee that uh, sadly we are not privy to. As usually, it is the captain on the floor who is allowed to clarify and uh, have a conversation with our officials. 21 20. Romero to Tubu. Casilag tries. They give away a free ball. Romero. Ronquillo blocked by Tubo and Cruz. Doroma to the back. Arroyo was there. Casilag. Great defenses by both teams. Ball still alive thanks to Trisha Tubo. Oh, Doromal. Ah. But it sucks because you saw the Farm Fresh Foxies give up on that one, Anne. You, you can see them catching their breath because most of that place, most of those returns, they're coming from di diving on the floor. Look at this as Doromal ends that one. She found that open area. But you also saw the Fire Fresh Foxies like lower their guard on that one. I mean, when Trisha Tubo was still able to keep the ball up, you saw the urgency. Yeah. Suddenly, don't know what happened here. Ipak also scoring quick. 23-20. I mean, timeout's going to be called for sure by Master Shimizu and Coach Jerry Yi. Sorry. Understand? Okay, focus, side out, side out. Okay, side out, 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 side side out, this one, I think uh, Master Shimizu was just doing uh, mind telepathy. Because he said, you know what it is. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm I sorry, like, Master. I don't know what that is. Did, did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was listening pretty intently on that one uh, to see what words of wisdom, <laughs> cinematic movie quotes um, I could follow up on. But uh, I did not get that. You know, they, they were they're just trying to, I guess, shift and stop the momentum coming from the other side. Let's see if they can get a good point from this. I mean, the galleries, Tower High Risers are on a 3-0 run. And there is a, a check. But uh, you can see, I don't know if our audiences who are watching this um, on their screen saw, Audrey Paran is really, really so intentional with verbally communicating it while the game is there. <laughs> but it works. Because it does, it does. I, I think that it is exactly what they need at the moment. And she's the only one that does that. But finally, someone on the side of the Farm Fresh Foxes. Hopefully, this is the spark that they need. And it's Kate Santiago. And I mean, we saw the heart-to-heart -heart of Trisha Tuba and Kate, and let's see if she will be 
the other half of Trisha Tubu um, here in uh, the scoring spree for set two. Timeout called by the high risers this time. They're at set point 24-22. I-reset nyo yung utak nyo. I-reset nyo muna yung utak nyo. I-reset nyo muna. I-calman nyo yung utak nyo. Kasahin natin dito sa kanan. Okay okay yun. Kaso huwag ka masyado manggigil. Ha? Huwag mo ibaba elbow mo. Kung kaya mo mabuti sa pinakamataas, mataas, lumapit ka sa bola. Tatlo, Spiker! Yeah, kaya kaya rin. Okay. Sino na sunan? Kung kaya mag-activate na middle, middle. Kung gusto nating i-drop na yung ano, dulo. Ha? No! Kaya kaya rin! Yeah. 24-22, there's set point, but the Farm Fresh Foxy is trying to stay alive. Clinging on here. And I mean, two points, kaya kaya. But uh, has to be seamless, perfect volleyball. Mabilangan to Doromal. Romero to Santiago. You know, that time out earlier and this substitution could be what they need. Again, shifting the momentum on their side, getting uh, some fresh legs on the floor. And the thing is, Kate Santiago is not an underrated player. She is a starter. You know what she's capable of, but... Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'll shut up now! <laughs> It wasn't you. Oh. It, was, it, it was the error, but you know, nonetheless, it was a good run. Haters for... don't come at you. <laughs> <laughs> but the Foxies did manage to keep it close in that last part of the second set. I think it was just really very tough because you know, the high, the high rises were already at 24. And I mean, the Farm Fresh Foxies really put up a fight. I mean, an additional 10 minutes here in set two, 25-23, a closer match, but. Now, the high risers have two sets to none of the Farm Fresh Foxies. Will they be able to push this to a fourth?
are on cloud nine right now. I mean, two sets to none. You just thought that the farm for Foxies was gonna take set two. But amazing work, the substitution with Emnas and Paples, and just how, at the end of the day, the chemistry and communication of the high risers proved to be really what sets them apart against the Farm Fresh Foxes and their scrap play. And in set number two, we saw that maturity that we wanted to see from the high risers from, uh, you know, turning things around, really maximizing the material they have on the floor. And, uh, you know, these crucial substitutions, I think, made a lot of difference. It may not have been that long, but uh, it, it uh, worked for them as we look at the stats for the second set. Much different story because in terms of offense, clearly this runs on the side of the Gallery's high tower. 17 attack points, 13 only for Farm Fresh. Blocking was quite even for both these teams, but what remained consistent, I guess, is uh, the strong serves that we've seen from the ladies in green. And in terms of opponent's errors, I think the reason why it has also improved for the second set, and we're talking about Farm Fresh Foxies here, is that they had less giveaways in that uh, second set. Yun lang, no? Kinapos, kinulang, and I guess in, the, in, that, in that second set, uh, the Galleries Tower High Risers really wanted it more. It was a good uh, way to end the second set. They hung on, they tried to play their best, so uh, we'll see. This, this is an improvement from you know the previous set, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Third set is always crucial. Third set is always... Um, crucial not just for the players, but for the broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see also, I mean, just what I'm saying, jokes aside, if Kate Santiago will be starting for set three, uh, as she was a catalyst, she was such a spark plug, but too late, eh? I was already at the latter part um, of set two, but we look at our leading scorers, Ronquillo right now at 11. And they're still set three. I mean, right now, she could possibly uh, score more than her previous game against the Akari Chargers. And it's amazing. Trisha Tubo, uh, despite being marked the whole game, uh, she still is producing quality numbers and quality time. Yep, eight points so far in this match. But your question earlier, if Santiago will start this third set, I think they felt <laughs> that they needed her presence. And, uh, you know, she is starting for the third set. We'll see what kind of uh, momentum or how they will start off. What energy we will see. I mean, Kate Santiago as a starter is an amazing move. Uh, she is stable. She is powerful. And I'll stop complimenting her while this game is on play. <laughs> I've learned my lesson too. Oh, one of the few times uh, that uh, it all will miss. And Farm Fresh will be striking first here in set three. Great that defense by Marzan there, Arroyo. Breaking down the block uh, of Marzan and Dormal. Mancini Arroyo, the girl on your screen, is relentless, cunning, and smart. Abilangan, toparan. Still simple, straightforward, sure point for Audrey Paran. And when you've got two sets already on your belt, you don't want to be the team that lets it go. And at the end of the game, it's going to be sayang. Tired and down. I think we should join the fun. <laughs> but you know, kidding aside, you know, they, they've only played two sets. But we, we saw how it developed. They start, the first set was 28 minutes. It stretched to 38 uh, minutes in the second set. So it, can get quite tiring also and we've seen a lot of rallies this isn't like you know the girls are having a walk in the park that's true i mean for this game when it goes slow they could really go slow but when it goes fast both teams can hardly keep up with each other three two in favor of the high risers as audrey serves 
Romero. Tuccini Arroyo. And right now, total attack falls, the high risers have 13 to the 11 attack falls of the Far Fresh Foxies. Now, really targeting uh, Eroa, their libero. Once again. Oh, great defense there by Eroa. Mabilangan. Amazing there by Ronquillo. I mean, there is a reason uh, why we were talking about her in our pregame. Trebian, all is good with France Ronquillo. 12 points in this match. She's been very consistent, very steady here. But we're tied 4 4. As our birthday girl, Kyle Tagsip serves. Abilangan back set to Ipak on a quick attack. <laughs> and uh, they, they realize it really works. These fast plays really works. They, it's very difficult to read. I mean, they don't need to make it last to three touches. As long as they get their first serve, um, I mean, Mabilangan immediately sets it to whoever, and it's a short point. But we have yet to see a stellar performance from Kate Santiago here in set three. The Romal gives away a free ball. Mabilangan to Ronquillo. Ooh, it seemed like it was on its way out a bit high. As we go to Kayla Castillo for her report on the gallery tower. High risers. One word, six letters. Gacha. For the gallery tower high risers, gacha is a short but powerful reminder ng kanilang pagkabuo o sisterhood. In times of trouble and pressure packed moments, maari nilang kapitan at ang isat isa at kung magkamali, wag magpanic. Bumawi lang. Prior to this set, they can be seen meditating as Coach Lerma repeatedly said, connect with your inner peace, ground yourselves. In the huddle, Coach Lerma also stressed the importance of three big C's, staying calm, iwasang magpadalos-dalos, composed, to lessen their unforced errors and communicate. From Kapaan, they've grown to be more vocal and confident in asking for plays that works best for them. The gallery's tower high risers are now a set away from taking home the win. Momentum's on their side, their energy's up in the air, but of course, it's not over until it's over, and so they must remain intentional with their plays and avoid complacency at all costs. 149 pesos is all it will cost you to enjoy HD and commercial-free PVL action only on the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now. Now back to the panel. I mean, what Kyla was talking about, consistency not letting up, that's certainly Franz Ronquillo, a service on your screens. Uh, she is not staying complacent. She has not been complacent at any point of today's match. And you know, in, in her report, she did mention the three Cs, and that's something that we've conversed about during yeah, this game. Exactly. They've been calm, they've been, uh, they've been communicating with each other. But we'll talk more, because just like that, it's already the first... So sports, it's the first game again of this PVL All-Filipino Conference uh, Saturday's triple header. Coming up next right after this game is the strong group Athletics versus the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. And 
Capping off this weekend's games is the next live Chameleons versus the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And continue to let us know your thoughts on who is the underrated player that will step up today. Which underrated player? Please answer the polls on Twitter. Don't forget to tweet with the hashtag PVL2024. Will it be Chini Arroyo, Grace Bombita, Franz Ronquillo, or Caitlin Veray? Three point lead. Again, a quick recap for the high risers. Kate Santiago. Mabilangan. Ah. Oh. <laughs> a violation there. Would have been a point already. Sumobra yung gigil ni Ipa. May momentum eh, going towards the net. Some clarification there, but sabi niya, She was a bit quite shy on that mistake. <laughs> All good. <laughs> she was in the moment as Coach Lerma wanted them to be. But Audrey Paran also, I mean, she is so vocal. Literally and figuratively with the way she plays and the way she talks to her teammates. Uh, all throughout the game, you can see her shouting, <laughs> talking. And, you know, she is one of the leaders for the girls right now on the court. Ooh, ball is good. Oh, ball is alive. Thanks to Marzan. Oh. by Mabilangan. She loved that. You know, it always feels good uh, if you get a point from a block. And just look at this. The joy after that single block. And I mean, Romero already has an attack point. Mabilangan still doesn't have one. So I think that would be your first. Now, Farm Fresh calls for a timeout. Let's listen in to Master Shimizu. Let's hope that we get it. Okay. Hello, Jill. No, 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 no. More cover, more cover. Okay, cover, cover. Okay, one to one to three. One to three. One to A lot is left unsaid, but I'm sure during that uh, timeout, a lot were said in his eyes. <laughs> I try. They just get each other. They do. Yeah, they just get each other. Four-point lead for the high risers. See? Again, they get each other. They were able to get the instructions. I'm pretty sure Master Shimizu is quite confident. The Farm Fresh Foxies know what they're doing wrong. And usually that's the first ball. Yeah, but you know, the good thing is that as they came back from that puddle, the execution was one point. They uh, can hopefully Tie it, but a violation at the net, I think, is what was called. Quite painful. That was a, a good momentum coming off a timeout. And we keep saying this, these unforced errors really ruin the momentum that your team could build. But right now, it's also... Um, Another unfirst error for the high risers. Three point lead. The high risers. Mabilangan to paran. Off speed. Ball still alive. Thanks to Arroyo. Marzan pushes that to the back. Eroa sets that for Audrey. The area was there. Romero to Kate Santiago. Oh, ball is good. <laughs> Mabilangan to Ronquillo. The high risers remaining so steady, calm, composed, communicating. And for that reason, they won that long rally. That move is brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. Look at that, Mabilangan to Audrey Paran. A soft touch. 
But you, you did mention earlier how Paran, when she goes for an attempt, she's very deliberate. And I, I, that is very, it, it's so consistent throughout this game. But I think I share your, <laughs> she, just as I was uh, giving her a compliment, the mistakes are not deliberate. <laughs> No, but kidding aside, you know, she has been really she playing has. well. Yes. You know, she may not be in double digits, but when it matters, you know, apart from what you've mentioned earlier, communication, like leading on the floor, making sure that they all understand each other there, she's been reading the um, open areas on the other side. Speaking of, that is uh, Doroma. I mean, if Audrey Paran is stable, verbal, Normal still as fiery as she started the game. I mean, energy, she was able to maintain it at level 100, and she still has that same spark and fire in her eyes. Great block, single block by Doromal right there. And it's those contributions of Audrey Paran that helps her squad. But, you know, sometimes the passion, the energy leads to mistakes because it becomes, you know, agitation. It's a uh, good chance for the Farm Fresh Foxies to get in more points. For uh, Tagsip, who just served to get a really nice birthday present. <laughs> yep, but, uh, you know, I think the high risers have other things in mind. <laughs> It is a strong front line. It was a strong front line for them earlier. Three attackers. I mean, they've got one thing on their mind to win. <laughs> Definitely. But you know, both teams really want to win. It may be a non bearing game, but a lot is at stake also, you know, for both these teams. Amazing play there by the Farm Fresh Foxes. Cruz with a powerful attack. Great set by Louis Romero. At stake, of course, is pride. You want to get that confidence as well. And Audrey Paran is really good with like the first ball. Oh, yeah. That's her contribution. So these are the non-scoring uh, skills. We'll see them in the stats, but... Um, most of the time, what gets, what, what, what gets mentioned yeah. though, are, are the scores, the points. But, uh, you know, defense that we're seeing from the high risers right now, really huge contrib contribution. 15-11, Kate Santiago. And that's what we're looking for for Kate Santiago. That's the reason why she's a starter here in set three. For those kinds of attacks, that spike of Kate Santiago brought to you by Duncan Pasalubo ng Bayat. Bilangan to Ipak. And with that, we're on to our second technical timeout. 16 12, four point lead by the Gallery Tower High Risers. Two Arena Plus, as Stigs of Sports, you're watching the first game of our PVL Saturday triple header here at the Phil Sports Arena, slowly filling up because we still have two games coming right up. It's going to be the strong group Athletics versus the Choco Mucho Flying Titans after this one. And then the next lad Chameleons against the Cream Line Cool Smashers later at 6 p.m. More volleyball action coming your way.
Right now we're at 16-12. Will the Gallery Sour High Risers be able to end this in three straight sets? Quite a redemption for them as, you know, they were defeated in three straight sets by the Akari Chargers in their last game. You've got Ipak serving, who currently has seven points, six attacks, and one service ace. Romero to Ildefonso. Abilangan to Paran. I think that was a triple block. Ildefonso, Cruz, and Romero. Paran. <laughs> She's been red. <laughs> she has. Farm Fresh Fox is saying, can't, you know, keep it simple. We'll really close the door here. It's about time. <laughs> That's all I can say. Audrey Paran has been scoring for her team. And now she's finally marked by the Farm Fresh Foxy. Is block points tied between the galleries high, gallery sour high risers and the Farm Fresh Foxies. El Defonso, free ball. Mabilangan setting it to Audrey again. Great net defense we're seeing. Oh, and the e even better coverage from the high risers. Ball still alive, just when you thought it was going to go in favor of the Farm Fresh Foxies. But Doromal... Huh. Wouldn't say a clutch performance, but with that long rally, it kind of was. But, I, you know, in that play, I really like how Mabilangan tried to involve everyone. So we saw her sets in the front. But that last point was scored off a back row attack. Sorry, that was by Ronquillo. I immediately saw Doromal um, rejoicing, so I assumed that was her. <laughs> but she was rejoicing for Ronquillo. Celebrating for each other. <laughs> and back to back not? celebrations. I mean, 18 13. No surprise that Coach Jerry is calling a timeout for the Farm Fresh Foxes. One side out, pass. Eh? No, one side out, then they, you, one, one point there that you are going with. Then two behind. Now, one more. One more try. Okay? One more try. One side out, pass. Okay? Okay, let's look here. Ah. 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 One-on-one, -on -one, heart to heart conversations with Mark Pingres and Gilas Legends, tackling their life stories on and off court. Puso to Puso exclusive on Pilipinas Live app. Download and register now for free. 18 13, a master Shimizu again. Five point lead for the high risers, but they're not yet in the scoring of the 20s. Still not too late for the Foxies to catch up to the high risers. Bilangat with 17 excellent sets right now. Oh, Marzan. Mabilangan gives it to Paran. She pushes that one in. Doromal with a soft touch. Great floor defense by Angeles. Oh, what a block. Kailangan masipag. That's true. I mean, look at this replay. Single block by Pia Defonso. Her first point, I think, here in today's match, a block point. Two block points for Defonso. You can hear the excitement from the crowd as they watch this rally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great effort uh, from Eroa, though. I mean, even the referee is smiling. But now High Risers will be calling a timeout after a really good back-to-back -back performance from the Farm Fresh Foxies, 15-18. Maximize that then, is that a bunch of
Ay, hindi, nasa likod na pala. Nasa likod na pala. Activate natin yung needle. An, ready ka, ha? Ready ka dyan. Kailangan mong pumuntos. Okay, priority na attacker, ikaw. Pero depende sa sitwasyon. Pagtiwalaan mo yung discount mo. Okay? Ready run. Dalawa yung ano, ha? Dalawa yung spiker sa harapan, ha? So, we... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cannot get complacent. The thing is, I mean, the high risers weren't getting complacent. It's just the farm fresh foxy stepped it up. Three point lead now for the high risers. Abilangan. To Marzan. You know, they, Too like, easy. they like that connection. It's coming from a good pass, it was a good set. And with Marzan's height, <laughs> what an advantage. <laughs> Sending it to the back. Easy peasy. Romero. To Viray. Mabilangan. To Doromal. Oh, that one is out. And you can hear the cheers of the fans. That was... Caitlin Verai off the hands of Franz Ronquillo. Ooh, strong serve. But that error stops the bleeding for the gallery stopper high risers. Substitution, Hernandez. And Hernandez sees action for the first time here in today's game. 2016. Mabilangan to Ronquillo. Amazing play there by the high risers. Steady setting by Mabilangan. Of the hands of Caitlin Verai, Franz Ronquillo gets another point under her name. She is with 18 points in this match. Already seven points more than her previous game. Whoa! Free ball given by Romero. Eroa to Mabilangan to Toromal. Look at that target, Toromal going for that down the line area, angle rather, and you know, ball landing at the corner. I forgot who received that ball from Kate Santiago. Things were happening way too quick, but kudos to her. I mean, we all thought that was going to be an easy one for Kate. Mabilangan to Doromal again. Same, same spot, same targeted player. Another point for Roma Joy Doromal. I think, you know, because they, they have a good read of how the formation is, the defensive formation is, and really that corner has been open. And let's see right now. Defonso sets it up for Kate Santiago. Ronquillo, oh, come on! You know, you gotta give credit to the passing of the high risers. <laughs> Not so much effort from Abilangan to keep running after the ball. That's true. Not that we're saying it's an easy job, but Mabilangan does have it easier than Romero because her teammates are doing such a great job of receiving the ball. I mean, match point right now for the high risers. Ron Kilio. And I mean, back to back points for Miss France right here. And, uh, you know, this win, as we see how they celebrate, really, really means a lot to these girls. The confidence it gives them. And it's just amazing how France Ron Kilio, she really. She has not been all good. She has been the best. 
here in today's game. I mean, outdoing her previous score. She has 8, 19, 20. She has 20. 20 for I mean, this match. 20 for this match. She had 11 in the last match. Amazing performance by the high risers. Uh, you saw them play proud for their team. The hunger was there. They felt the urgency. They wanted to end this well. But, you know, kudos to the Farm Fresh Foxies. I know it's three sets, but it wasn't an easy win for the high risers because the Farm Fresh Foxies kept them on their toes. And, you know, we've seen a lot of really long and quality rallies in this match. Exactly. And, you know, I, I must say that while we always, I, I did mention this earlier during the game, but while we mentioned a lot about players who score the points, we have to really give credit to the defense of both teams. And most especially, of course, the winning team, the high risers, they've done an excellent job keeping the ball alive. We've talked about how passing was on point. Mabilangan had, uh, <laughs> you know, she was just right there, has to stand. She had, a, she had the time of her life. Yes. I mean, you know, you've got Audrey Paran also contributing so yes. much to the defense. But now let's talk about and let's talk to our best player of today's match. None other than, I mean, the set ender, the match ender, France Ronquillo. How is it there, Kyla? Is it all très bien? Nako, napakasaya ngayon ng Galleries Tower High Risers. Denise and I, and I, I'm now with our best player of the game, Franz Ronquillo of the Galleries Tower High Risers. Now, Franz, congratulations, Gabby, from just one win last conference. Na triple nyo na ito, anong pakiramdam? Ano po, parang sobrang hindi, hindi ko po maintindihan yung feeling kasi syempre <laughs> Kasi syempre parang sa mga sunod-sunod nga po naming talo, parang yung yung kumpiyansa nga po nang sinasabi ko parang mababa pero nung parang ginusto lang po talaga naming manalo. Kaya parang ang saya po sa feeling na nakapanalo po kami ng straight set. <laughs> Yes, no, and ito yung pagbawi nyo sa pagkatalo nyo in three sets laban sa Akari Chargers nung nakaraan. And during that time, sinabi mo sa akin na gusto mo lang maglaro ng walang regrets. At ngayon, napakita mo ngayon. Um, itong game na ito, ano yung, sig ano yung sinisignify nito in terms of the growth of Gallery Tower High Risers? Ano po, parang yung sa growth po, parang mas nakita po yung chemistry namin. Na syempre, before parang magulo pa po kasi yung kung paano kayo maglaro, parang unti-unti po kami nagka-chemistry na yun, parang <laughs> basta nag-start pa lang po kami sa chemistry, parang unti-unti po, para sa mga sunod na games po, mas mapakita po namin ng gasa. And along with that development in chemistry, I hope pati yung sa confidence na pinag-usapan natin kanina, no? And now you're best player of the game, so mayroon ka bang mga gustong batihin at pasalamatan? Ano um, gusto ko, ko lang po batiin yung family ko na nasa bataan, yung mga kapatid ko, tapos yung 12E steak po, yun po. And yung mga friends ko po, yun po. Ayan, there you have it. Everyone, our best player of the game from the Gallery Tower High Risers, Franz Ronquillo. Now back to the panel. Thanks for that, Kylo. Congrats to Franz. I mean, Anna, a while ago, you were in Dimdim Pakras repeatedly saying, Panalo kami, panalo kami. We definitely got the message. A three set win for the Gallery Tower High Risers. And you know, the way they played, we did talk about confidence. I think that's why Ronquillo is. France is speechless, eh, diba? because this is exactly what they need. More than, you know, the, the, the additional win on their uh, win-loss record. It's them going home, feeling confident. Na, nag improve sila, no? as, as uh, you go deeper into the tournament, as they gel better together. And we saw that in the match. It's not just about scoring the points. It's an excellent teamwork. Front row, back row, everyone. Um, had uh, had their contribution. Exactly. I mean, what you were saying that you know they did have a two-six uh, win-loss record, but with a win like this, the losses, you know, it makes it worth it because they were able to grow from all of those defeats, the disappointments, the failures, and now what better way to win than a three-set match? And you know the numbers would really speak of how they won this match. It had a good progression when it comes to offense. So it started off pantay lang sila, but in the second and the third set, they really uh, performed better. 45 attacks overall in the match. Farm Fresh only producing 
32. In terms of blocks, dito halos match yung uh, dalawang teams. But I think where uh, they remained consistent was in terms of their service aces for this game. While uh, the opponent area were quite close, ano? but what's good is that in terms of converting points, they managed to do it holistically as a team. And I mean, again, the Farm Fresh Foxies, they played so well, but they still have yet to learn how to close uh, a set. They always start well, they're able to bounce back, but it's the ending uh, that they need to work on. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, these losses also are adding to their experience. But you can hear the cheers because Choco Mucho Flying Titans and the strong group Athletics are coming right up in today's matches. Only the second game, you can see Madi Madayag, and the rest of the players, Cherry Nuna, Jem Ferrer, Dina Wong, and more exciting volleyball matchup coming right after. I mean, Coach Lerma Giron told the girls early on to play with calmness, composure, and communication, and they did all that, ticked all the boxes. They got a three-set win. Now, the High Risers are triumphant in their battle for pride against the Farm Fresh Foxies. Thank you so much for joining us again. I'm Denise inside with my partner, Andre Mulyakanda, and our courtside reporter, Kyla Casillo. Thank you so much for joining us. And stay tuned for the Strong Group Athletics against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans.